You know, I was really impressed um, that Governor Polis was willing to come and speak to us. Um, yeah, I know um, that's really divisive. Um, I heard some people shouting in there. Um, but uh, yeah, I was really impressed that he was willing to come speak. I always love hearing Abby speak. She doesn't mince words. That's my favorite part about her. Um, yeah, uh, the pro-life issues are something that I'm extremely passionate about, so especially just like being in college and, and my age group. Um, it's just not a really very popular opinion. Um, so I, um, especially as a young woman, I just really, my heart goes out to um, to women who are drawn into abortion and um, it breaks my heart the the lies that these women um, are hearing you know I it's it's my passion to fight for women as well as these children and fighting for women means you know fighting for them to like not be sucked into these lies and um, to know that fighting for their child is fighting for them I think the skewing of feminism has, is a really big part of that just um, you know, and it, it was some, someone said something interesting in there. I forget which speaker it was, but just um, separating the instinct of the mother to nurture her child. Um, so just focusing on self above everything um, is a huge part of that, I think. And then again, just with um, the media's lies, Hollywood's lies about what a child means, what a woman means. Um, yeah, I think, and, and Abby was saying in there as well that that her opinions, you know, while working for Planned Parenthood were formed little by little, just a bit at a time, and that's what's been happening here as well. So, um, yeah, women, women's opinions on abortion have changed just little by little, and it's really a slippery slope into, into dangerous territory there.